money, you know, the, so you could say something's a medium of exchange, and then you could say, is it a storehold of wealth, okay? So those, the, and money is that vehicle that is those things and can be used to pay off your debt. So when you have a debt and you provide it, it pays off your debt. So that that's that process. And it's, uh, a, um, I apologize to interrupt, but it only can be a medium of exchange or store wealth when everybody recognizes it to be a value. That's right. right. And so you see in the history and you, around the world and you go to places, um, I was in um, an island in the Pacific in which they had as money these big stones. And literally, they were taking a boat, this, this, this big carved stone, and they were taking it from one of the islands to the other, and it sank. The, the, the piece of this big stone piece of money that they had and it went to the bottom and they still perceived it as having value so that it was even though it was in the bottom and it's this big hunk of rock the fact that somebody owned it they would say oh i'll i'll own it for this and that i've seen uh beads in different places shells converted to this and mediums of exchange and when we look at what we've got you're exactly right it is the notion that if I give it to you, I can then take it and I can buy something with it. And that's so it's a matter of perception. OK, and then we go through then the history of money and the vulnerabilities of money. And what we have is um, there's through history, there's been two types of money. Those that are claims on something of value, mm -hmm. uh, like the connection of to gold or something that's right um, that that would be and or they just are money without any connection which and then we have a system now which is a fiat monetary system so that's what money is then it will last as long as it's kept of value and it works that way so let's say central banks when they get in the position of like they owe a lot of money like we have in the case it's increasingly the case and they also in our bind and they have the printing press to print the money and get out of that and you have a lot of people might be in that position then you can print it and then it could be devalued in mm -hmm. there and so history has shown forget about today history has shown that no currency um, has la ha every currency has either ended as being a currency been, or devalued as a currency over periods of time, long periods of time. So it evolves and it changes, but everybody needs that medium ex of exchange and everybody needs that storehold of wealth. So it keeps changing what is money over a period of time. 